Hello everyone, and welcome back to Revis Snippets. Great tips you can learn in just a few minutes. Today's lesson will tackle a problem that some of you have. You know that problem when you go to the file menu, click on it, and instead of instantly opening like this, it may take several seconds or even minutes to open up for you. Could be a small problem, but it happens over and over again, that becomes annoying. So let's see how we can fix this. By the way, if you are new to this channel, make sure to subscribe to this now to get graphic tutorials like this every single day. Back to the problem. The reason why this menu sometimes is very slow to open is because whenever you open it, Revit tries to look for those recent files. And if for some reason, if your server connection isn't good, or if some files here are missing, Revit, instead of giving up straight away, will try to get the file a few more times. There's a timeout, fortunately. But if you have here 20, 30 files, that timeout for each one will add up and make you wait a few seconds or a few minutes to get this file menu ready. Therefore, the fix here is to clean up this recent files list so there'll be nothing holding up Revit when you open this menu. To clean those up, you need to change a setting under your Revit INE file. This is where you can find it. Just go to your Window Explorer, go to the C drive, open Users. And in here, just open the folder for your username. Next step, you need to open a hidden folder called App Data. I have here already on my screen because I have hidden folders turned on. But if you haven't, just go to File, Options. Go to the View tab and make sure this Show Hidden Files, Folders and Drives tick box is selected. Click OK and that should appear for you. You can now open it, go to Roaming, choose Autodesk, choose Revit, and in here, select the Revit version you are trying to fix. In my case, it's 2021. And here is the Revit.ini file. You can just edit it now in Notepad. Make it full screen. And by the way, you may want to close your Revit window first before doing this. So, having closed Revit, you can then go down this list here, press Ctrl F and search for Recent. Keep going until you see this section called Recent File List. Open it up now. And as you can see, you have here the full list of files that are recent to your Revit version. Feel free now to delete all of them, or keep some of the files that you know you need. For now, I'll delete everything here except from the first file. Save the file then, close it down, and open up Revit again. Alright, so you can see now that my recent file list in this welcome screen is now much shorter. And if I go back to my file menu, there's only one entry there. That's the only file that I didn't delete from the Revit.ini file. As you keep working and open other files, they will be populated here as well. But those that Revit couldn't find and couldn't reach, they are now cleaned up from this list. And that enables this file menu to open instantly again. Alright, if you like tutorials like this every single day coming to you, make sure to subscribe to this channel. For now, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next lesson.